Hey, it's Jeremy here. Today we're doing an Illustrator CC tutorial on the Live Paint tool. It's pretty much like the Shape Builder tool. It allows you to paint shapes really fast. It's good for like creating patterns, um, doing character design, or just doing some funky abstract shapes. And allows you to be really efficient and paint them really quick. So what I've got here is this geometric shape on my artboard. You want to make sure your object's expanded and completed um, before making a Live Paint group. So what I've got here, I'm going to select it. And to get the Live Paint group, up, we're going to press K and you can see our mouse changed this little paint bucket thing and you'll see it'll say click to make live paint group and what I want to do is to click on the shape and now it's made it into a live paint group so you can see our um, boundary box the squares um, have changed and they've got some lines in them that that will show you that it's a live paint group as well um, and so we're gonna get right into it so I'm gonna press K again and you can see that um, it recognizes the shapes in the live paint group that we've created and what I can do now is if I just click I can paint the shapes in really fast what we can do now as well you can see how I've got these three boxes on my mouse and pretty much we can change um, our color colors and it's just gonna shift into our swatches panel and all I'm pressing is um, up and down or left and right on the keyboard and you can shift through your color palette really fast and you can see on my right hand side and the swatches I'm just changing just like that makes it really simple just like that it's really simple guys another way we can paint it in as well if we press shift L we'll get the live paint selection to up um, it's here on the left hand side as well and we can just select separate specific shapes so I'm just holding shift and just going through the shapes I want um, and I'm just gonna change the colors so, and you can see how it's got dots on them to show you that's selected. And maybe I want an orange color. And now we've selected that. You can also use the direct selection tool by pressing A and coloring it in that way. Just like that. Really simple, guys. Pretty cool. So, what we can do now as well, we can also expand this shape and we can also release it. So, maybe we don't want, it, want this in a live paint group anymore. Maybe you just want it to be a normal object. We go to Object, Live Paint, and you go Release. So now it's not going to be in a live paint um, group anymore, but it's just going to go back to its original path, which was the diamond. And it's just turned it into a, um, a stroke, as you can see. And it's done that. I'm just going to press Control Z. Um, and you can also select to go Object, Live Paint, and Expand. And I'll just expand all the individual shapes, um, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to jump over here as well. What we can do as well is you can select multiple objects and make it into a live paint group. So I'm going to make one of these into a live paint group, press K and then click. Now if I select both of these, I can go Object, Live Paint, and Merge. So now these are recognized as one uh, live paint group. So I can just move them, and now it's in a one live paint group. And I can just press K and paint them freely. Just going through here, as you can see, pretty effective. So now there's one group, and if I want to get out of it, I can um, just go object again, live paint, and go um, release. And it will take it out of the group if I don't want it to be in a group. So one more thing that it, the live paint um, tool does as well is that if you've got gaps in your paths or you, your shape's not closed, um, you can do gap um, detection, which is pretty handy sometimes. You know, you're not 100% correct, but, um, but it will still read the shape. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go to object, live paint. Make sure your object selected. And we're going to go make, or you can press K and click. So we're going to make it to a live object. And then now if you go live paint and go gap options, you can see I've got, you got to turn on gap detection and it's going to um, recognize these um, shapes. So instead of, if I don't do this, then what's going to happen is the shape is going to paint the whole thing. You see how it's painting the whole thing? I don't want to do that. I want it to get three separate shapes. So that's why we've got to go back and we're going to go to gap options. And turn that on, and you can change it. These gap, these um paths are broken. They're pretty much uh, medium or large, and you can see now it's going to close the path for me. So it's, it tells you here in the box it says two gaps found on, on my select object. And what I can do is press close gap gaps with path, and I'm just going to press yes. And now it's going to close this um, paths off, and now they're going to be three separate shapes, and I can paint them separately just like that. So it's pretty handy if you you know if, if you don't want to um, stuff it up or if you want to fix 
um, paths that are that are messed up. So that's pretty handy as well. Um, so yeah, let me a comment in the comment box below. Tell me what type of tutorials you guys want to see. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos every week. And I hope you guys have a great day.